Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, today is August the... No, it's not August anymore. It's September the... <laughs> That's what I used to say in August. September the 3rd. Uh, it's actually been a, a little bit since I've uh, recorded some Zelda. Just mainly because I've wanted to give myself kind of a chance to catch up on uploading videos. I was so backed up on uploading uh, Zelda parts that I was like, well, might as well just take a break for a while and just kind of catch up on the uploading stuff. So, anyway, um, I think we were, yeah, doing the water temple next. Yep. There we are. There's actually, uh, I was thinking about it, there's one thing I want to do before I start this. Um... Yeah, I want to get some more fairies, and um, those of you familiar with the game probably already um, know the best place to get fairies, but I'll show you my favorite uh, spot. Quick, easy way to get uh, fairies if you're needing them like right now. There are some in the water temple, I could wait to get them, but I was like, eh, might as well just go get them now. So, let's play the... Uh menu out of forest and uh, we'll go to the forest temple there's one yes uh, there's a fairy fountain in the middle of the maze it's real easy to get to just by warping here and uh, as far as I know yeah uh, <laughs> when Jeremy was playing this and I was helping him through he uh, we confirmed that uh, the fairies do respawn after you get them so guy just for the principle of being an inconvenience. Die, bitch. Alright. So if you go over here and then watch out for this guy. Okay. No, Navi, we don't care. So you just climb up here and then jump down here. You'll see this middle section and a hole there. And here we are. So yeah, like I said, um, you can take all these and then leave and then come back and they'll be back here again. So... That's pretty, that's pretty nice. So I just, uh, I'm gonna fill all my bottles up, so. Yep. Yeah, and if you stand, uh, too close to them, they'll automatically heal you, so, but whatever. Like I said, if you accidentally run run out or something, just leave. Ugh. Leave the room and come back. So, fuck. I really need to quit yawning. That's all I did yesterday is fucking yawn. It was ridiculous. So, anyway. So, then just play the Serenade of Water again. And we will start the Water Temple. Um, Jeremy, as of today we were gonna he, we were gonna have some more Zelda time or me helping him get through Zelda yesterday but uh, he's a little bit tuckered out so we'll probably do it Monday or something but yeah he's about to start the next dungeon after this one he's already finished the water temple and yeah it's uh, I gotta say it's probably the most annoying out of all of them oops shit um, most annoying dungeon because there's just a lot of backtracking, or there can be if you don't do it right. I don't want to use the boots. Um, not only a lot of backtracking, but constantly switching your boots on and off. So I'll try and save you the most amount of backtracking possible um, by showing you how I do it and. You will at least have to uh, go through this section once more anyway, but I'll show you what I mean here in a minute. Um, Alright, so first things first. Um, let's see. Hank. Can we do this yet? We'll just check it out. 
Yeah, okay, so yeah, this is the first thing, before I forget it. We're gonna have to push this over here, but we can't do it. We can't do it yet, but it's very important that you pull this back into this first green square before you do anything, so you don't have to basically... Basically, you can change the water level in this dungeon, um, but it takes... You have to just go back and redo it, and it kind of takes a minute, and it's kind of annoying, so... Again, if you just go ahead and do that right away, it saves you time. So, just trust me. Um, so, first things first. Gotta go down to the first level. The boots. So, yeah. Be prepared to... Oh, shit. Um, oh, I can wait. Use your hook shot on these bastards. That's... Hook shot's about, besides your shield, the only thing you can use underwater. Okay, so, head this way, <clears throat> and oh, look, oh god, <laughs> well, that was seven years ago, come on, I'm sure you don't still expect me to marry you, oh. So she's going to take off to the top of this room and somehow disappear. I don't know how that, I don't really understand how that works, but yeah, see, now she's gone. So I don't really understand what the purpose of, was of this whole deal because she makes it sound like she's going to help you, but really she just disappears and you don't see her again until the end of the dungeon, so I don't know. So, first things first, come in here. Oh, actually, probably don't have to do this. This is, the only thing in here is the uh, dungeon map. Which, like I said, you can get it if you want it, but... I guess I might as well, since I'm in here. Shut up. Aw, oh, you bitch. Yeah. Guess I should've just done that to begin with. Alright. Lots of bombs. Oh yeah, Jeremy uh, <laughs> actually taught me something. You can use the, the uh, hammer to kill those things and the um, uh, the crabs, which I'll show you where they're at here in a minute. So what you want to do, this, this is the first place where you can change the water level. This takes it all the way down to level 1, so just play that. And then, two hours later, okay, here we go. And then Link has really, really good knee support and leg support, I don't know. But <laughs> he can jump down three stories and it's just fine. So, anyway, the next thing you want to do is get out your arrow. I guess I'll get this out. Fucking might as well. Oh, you okay. can <sighs> Pardon me. <clears throat> you, there's two ways you can do this. You can, e you can either basically like cheat and use Den's uh, fire here, which I haven't used yet, but um, I might show you what that does here in a minute. Anyway, the idea here is to shoot the tops. Oops, the top of the torches by shooting through the flame, and lighting me. Da, 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 da. And I think these jars should have it. Yeah, there we go. Arrows. Just come on in here. Now you can either kill these things with the uh, hook shot, or 
Robert used the hammer. Um. Oh shit. I think. Well, maybe not. Oh, there we go. I recommend using this because it's easier. You can kill them from a distance. Just wait for them to open them out. You will have to kill them this way underwater, which, yes, we will see them underwater, so. Not bad practice, actually. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So here we go. So yeah, it's very important to get every single key when you have the opportunity to get them, so you save yourself as much time as possible, I guess. But Anyway, so the next one, and I missed this when I was helping Jeremy. I totally forgot about this one right here. Okay. So just push this block all the way back. Really? <laughs> fucking bitch. Watch out for these things. These things are fucking annoying in here. They, they'll camp up top there once in a while, and then you'll hear them jumping around, and they'll try and ambush your ass, which usually they do pretty well, but... Okay, so... I can do a mid-air boot swap. Up, up, and up, and away. <laughs> Alright. Now in here. Uh, let's see. I have to do this with this. And jump. And jump over. Alrighty. Okie dokie. Now in here. You're going to want to do is land on that platform um, in the water so you can stand on it and this water whirlwinds around so it can be a little bit tricky you gotta get your timing just right I think right here will work Let's put your iron boots on and you'll just go straight down <sighs> yeah, be careful oh, excuse me careful not to walk off this slide here because then you can't get back up you'll have to try it again um, now basically what you want to do this hook shot over here after you hit the switch with the hook shot. You get a limited of time to do it, so I'll just be ready. And ta da! And then take your boots off if you want. Woo! Yeah, it's kind of tricky dodging those bastards sometimes. So just come over here and get the next key. Okay, now. Let's see if I can fucking swim under there. <laughs> there we go. Save yourself from even having to deal with those assholes, but whatever. You can sit there and kill them if you want. It's however you want to do it. What? That didn't kill you? Really? Fucking bitch. Alright, so now all you have to do is get close to the edge here. I mean, not quite that close. You don't have to get that close, but close enough to, for that to reach. Then I think you have to. Yeah, use this. Because. To use the hook shot. To get up there because the water level doesn't quite reach up there to just swim up. Yeah, pretty annoying. All right, now it's time to go in here. And come over here and then look up. You'll see that hook shot place. And then. Here's a second. Okay. <sighs> Fuck. Hmm. Alright. Now I think there is a... <clears throat> gold sculpture up here. 
I don't know. Oh, there it is. I don't know if my hook shot's long enough to reach it, though. No. So, I know there's a way to get up there. I think, actually, you have to have a long shot first, but we don't, we don't have that yet. Alright, so, oops. Drop down here. Be careful of the spikes. And then drop down through this hole here on the floor. Alright, now we go this way. Obviously. Alright, so, I hit this. Um, and then these guys will come out. All I have to do is just hit them when they're soft. You can either use your shield to knock them back like that or hit them again with your hook shot. Wait for the mouth to open and hit them. Oops. It's kind of mess. Really? There we go. Now, come over here. Take your boots off. And up we go. Alrighty then. Yep, okay. So, you can use this torch to light this torch again so the door will unlock, but we really don't need to go back in there um, right now. Now, if you go over this way, I'll show you how to do it. Just, I'll show you how to do it in case you really wanted the compass that bad. But normally I don't do this just because I don't ever need the compass, so I just skip it. But, uh, you go this way. You're gonna wanna hook shot yourself up here and use this far one. Okay, now compass is over there, obviously. Um, I think what you have to do is drop a bomb. So and then the time limit is extremely short. You have to go on this side. This is the side to open it. Ooh, just barely got it too. Yeah, so it's not really that hard. You just gotta be fast. Okay, so there's a stupid compass. You can jump down here. Be careful about the spikes so. though. Alright, so. That's really all there is in that 